to add a spider really quickly. Now the spider needs to be sitting on your web somewhere. And I'm just going to make him in black since i got loads of colors going on around here. And I'm just going to give him a little head. It's a circle. I'm going to make my guy pretty small. And then I want a bigger circle for his body. Now, spiders have eight legs. One of the reasons that they kind of creep us out is we have two bends in our finger plus where it bends from the hand. Spiders have a lot more than that. So I think it's what creeps us out a little. And I'm going to go ahead and make my eight legs just going towards the webs. And I'm just going to say a nice straight line this time. I'm not going to worry about those creepy bendy parts. So I'm going to make him, him just attach to my webs. So I'm just doing four on each side. One, two, three, four on this side. One, two, three, four over here. So I got a nice little spider in there. And um, if you wanted to draw one in white, that's fine. Just make sure you use a pretty good amount of crayon if you're going to give him a friend. And make sure you can see, because I've got him on this web here. So I'm going to draw those quickly, but add a pretty good amount. You can see the white. It just doesn't like to show up on camera. I'm going to give him his legs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. So if you want to try that, that's fine. And if you say, you know what, I don't like the white crayon, I can't see it that well, I don't want to do it, then don't worry about it. Don't do it. Um, we're going to add some water on here. I think we're done with our crayon parts. And I'm going to go ahead and add some water. Pretty good amount. The more water I'm trying to use, the more it's going to get it off of my tissue paper. So this is going to take you some time. And I want to try to put that on my areas so that it will stick and I can start seeing that come off. So I'm not getting my my brush super wet. I'm trying to go across here with a good amount of the color. I can already start spreading some. So if you have a favorite color that you want to use, like in my case I love green, I can go ahead and do that. Now I've got to watch out for my yellow because yellow can get washed away and that's fine. It's just, it's a good amount of pigment. It's just brighter than the other. So I'm going to add in some different colors here. Now they're sitting on top. So that means that I need to add a good amount of water to get these to have the color start coming off of the tissue. And that's okay. Now it's already blending into my yellow there. But it's really fun and it's really worth it. Now this green one is not attached to anything. So if, you're, if your papers are starting to move away, just put some water down in your paper, then put your square down. And then that way, the color will get off of the squares a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more. Oh, my cat has decided to join us. Hang on. Just a minute. Sorry about that. My cat wanted to come up and see what I was doing. So I'm going to keep adding some squares, but i got to make sure it's definitely coming off better if I'm just putting some plain water down first. So if I know for sure where I want my squares to go, I can go ahead and put some water in that area first and then add my tissue paper. These two are stuck together, here we go. So I can go ahead and add those and I can see that um, the color's already starting to come off a little bit onto the paper where I got it wet, which is really nice. And it looks really interesting and blendy. And um, we get something similar going when we use watercolor paints. So take your time on this part. Get it wet. Don't try to make it completely soaking wet, but you want to add a good amount. So add a good amount of water that's going to make your paper stick and make those colors move a little. So I'm going to keep doing that, and I see that some color's coming off, so maybe I'll spread some of that around on my paper and fill my stuff in. So I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to add a few more squares. What you want to do is finish this up whatever way you like. Yours does not have to look like mine, and you can look for your favorite colors and spread them around on your paper. So I'm going to get a little bit ahead so that we can see what our final project is going to look like.
just really quickly here I sort of am in progress and I'm finding that a lot of my little tissue papers definitely want to stick together so you want to make sure that as you're working you don't still let them try to kind of come apart as chunks of paper you want to try to separate those and organize them if that helps you to find them where they are and you know figure out which ones are black which ones are brown which ones are dark um, and which ones are light of the same colors and you can always flip them over like when I pick this up my brown is stuck to it so I'm gonna make sure that my brown is where I want it to be and that my green is where I want it to be or if you're trying to do a color blend that's fine it's just that there probably isn't enough of the tissue paper to do too many. Black is a lot of fun with the tissue paper squares. Um, just be careful that it's not going over a color that you really, 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 really like because um, it will dominate it. It's something about how the paint is made, how the color is made even in our crayons. It's so, so deep. So I'm going to finish filling up my paper with all kinds of different colors and get ready to give it a quick spray.